Hey, the Ringmaster here, and it's gonna be my another episode eight review. Um, good episode, good episode. It was it's kind of surprising. I I didn't really expect this to happen. So yeah, it, it was a good episode though, really good episode. Uh, so yeah, they basically where they left off from before was um, they need to figure out uh, oh, they need to talk to Misanagi to go find out what he left at the shrine so they can try to reverse this whole calamity from happening so they can stop all this, you know, all this killing and everything from the schools. So that's where they left off and so they needed to go find him and he was in um, a hotel out of Yomiyama so they had to go over there to go meet him so you know go talk and so uh, um, Sakakibara's uh, sister or whatever that, that girl is always there that's at his house. I can't I don't know what I keep forgetting her name for some reason but um, yeah, so she's she's there. She's like, um, I don't really know. I can't really help you with anything. I can't fr freaking remember. I don't know why she has like such a bad memory. I don't know what's going on. It just seems like people that for there are from that year or, or anything they don't remember anything. It's kind of weird. So they don't. She doesn't remember. So he's like, in order to when we back to help, he's like, we end up meeting this dude. So I'll help you get over there and everything. So they're all packing up to go over to um, you know, this hotel that's out of Yomiyama, this this place, so they can meet up with Mitsunaga. And so, um, some of the other um, students come, bot came, like, uh, yeah, no, it's Reiko, what am I saying? Is he, is he now learning? It's Reiko, that girl, that's, uh, Sakibara, you know, always with. So, um, yeah, what's her name? Uh, Akizawa comes, uh, Yuya, uh, uh, Mochizuki, and then, this, you know, the rest of these other people. Because, you know, they're, they're out, I can't, I can't, there's, there's some other dude in there, I don't know his name. I cannot remember it for nothing. So, uh, yeah. He, they're all going in there and they have, um, you know, deciding who, what car to go into. And apparently, freaking Yuya he had, he had like a, a bag of just stuff in there. It was like ridiculous. And he was wondering, he was wondering why they got so much stuff. Um, so yeah, so he ends up deciding to go in the car. And apparently, I don't know, Akizawa seems to be liking uh Sagaki Bar or something. I don't know because she wanted to drive in the same car that he was going in. Because Sagaki Bar was like, I want to go into uh, you know, Reiko's car. And so she's like, all right. And so she ends up going, she ends up going to Reiko's car and she ends up putting a uh, um, Yuya in her, her her car that's you know that's getting her drove in over there so it's kind of, it was kind of funny I was like huh hmm interesting interesting but um so they're driving up and then they get out of Yomiyama and they you know kind of feel like well since we're out of Yomiyama nothing should happen right so you know nothing nothing, nothing happens so she ends up uh Rachel ends up getting all like serious and start driving all real fast and everything and what I will um note like tell you about this episode is that the animation for the cars and the driving and everything was so nice it was. Man, I love the animation for it. It was really good, and it kind of remember. It kind of like brought me back to like to, to something else. But I, I'll talk about that later. Or something. But it was really nice. The animation was really fluent, and it was really good. So the animation in this episode was really top notch. I actually, the first part of the episode I forgot to mention is that we ended up seeing like this little splash and looked like blood that was coming out, but it wasn't. It was just a cracked watermelon. And I don't know why it looked like some blood. <laughs> I was laughing off of that, but yeah. And then we see why you know we see what happens you know in the watermelon because apparently. They get out to the hotel. They couldn't meet up with Misunaga, so they're like, "Man, what are they gonna do? We're just gonna be waiting here the whole time." I was like, "No, nah. you yeah, is like, let's go to the beach, cause there's a beach like right over there." So they end up going to the beach. They end up playing around and they end up cracking a watermelon and eating the watermelon and stuff like that. So that's why the watermelon got cracked like that, and all all that blood came out. Yeah, cause it looked like it looked like blood, honestly. It's it's like that did not look like watermelon juices. <laughs> so um, yeah, they're they're playing around eating watermelon. You know, going to water, doing suplexes. Doing all that good stuff. It was, it was, it was nice times. So I'm like, you know, what? I think it's gonna be episode. Finally, nothing happens. You know, they finally can calm down. No one dies. It's just nice and calm because they're out of Yomiyama, so nothing should happen, right? So, uh, yeah, they had a contest of um, who can get the most fish. So it's apparently, um, Yuya wanted to cook outside and eat some, you know, food right off the grill. And he's like, where are we gonna get a grill at and everything? Apparently, this is like a freaking Brogger grill. So that's why he had that big jacket at the back. Now I'm wondering is. How the heck you hold a big gigantic grill inside that bag? I don't understand how he did that. It was, a, it was a pretty nice, decent big grill. I don't know how he had it in that big old bag of his, but he, had, he held it in there with a bunch of other stuff that was in there. It was just crazy. So I'm like, all right, all right, all right. And so they made contests of who can uh, get the um, you know, most fish. And so they had to split up into groups. You know, it was Yuya, um, um, Saka, um, Akizawa, and, and and someone else. Oh, yeah, they also met up with... um. Um, um, Misaki made because Misaki apparently she remembered she had to leave and stuff and go go out of town. Basically, that's where she was going to the beach over around this area because her, her father's over there and apparently her father works someplace and they wanted to get together and you know she didn't really care about the whole family thing but that's why she was there and so 
Yeah. So the team was, um, you know, uh, Yuya and Aki, and Aki, Akizawa and some other and some other girl. I can't. I don't know. I don't know her name. I don't think I really see it that much. And then it was the out the outcast basically was freaking. Um, <laughs> it was funny too. It was freaking messed up. It was Mochizuki, which was like buried in sand. And he couldn't get me. Can't get out. And he's all sitting there all alone and crap. Like, can someone let me out? So he was. It was him, Sakaki Bar, and maybe Saki the outcast. And she and Masak and um. Mokizuki's like, hey, I'm not, I was never um, outcast as, as, you know, out of the group. He's like, well, you're outcasted right now. He's like, dang, that's harsh. I was like, that's messed up, though. That wasn't really messed up. So, um, yeah, so they don't get, start catching fish. They didn't really catch anything. They couldn't really eat anything. So, then, so, uh, what's her name? Reiko, and they actually just buying some food anyway, so they end up eating. Well, they did catch this octopus. Well, no, Misaki may even catch this octopus, and they did eat the octopus. That's pretty messed up, too. She was like, it was, a little, it was a little funny, too, but I won't say anything about it. But they caught my octopus, and they ate the octopus, they ate the chicken, the meat, and stuff. And as they're all eating, Mitsunaga ends up coming, and apparently he's uh, trying to call Reiko the whole time. Reiko had her phone, her phone, her phone died. So, uh, yeah, so they end up talking about the whole calamity that's going on, and they're trying to figure out and trying to remember what they what they do. And the funny thing is, he doesn't remember anything either. So I'm just like wondering why don't they remember anything? What happens to them to why they can't remember nothing? This is so weird that they can't something like something this bad that happens you can't remember it. There's something wrong. There's something wrong. So um, yeah, he ends up trying to remember, and he's like. I left something, always oh, it, was, it was something at the school, whatever he took was something from the school, he doesn't know what it was from the school, but whatever that thing was from the school, that's what they didn't get, they're not sure what it is, because he doesn't remember what it was, and it was at a dusty, run down shrine, basically, so we got some information of where it is from the shrine to the item that's somewhere inside the school, we don't know what the item is, but it's not paper, they were about to explain what it, what it was, until this big gust of wind ended up coming, and then uh, the ball, the beach ball ended up going way in the water, now to me, Knowing all this death and all this crap that goes on, I wouldn't volunteer to go in the water. Now, I mean, and it was getting pretty windy, and the, and the waves looked like they're they're getting somewhere. I wouldn't get in the water. But no, this random dude—I don't know his name. Like I said, he it doesn't really matter now because he's because something happens to him. Because <laughs> yeah, he goes in the water. He ends up going far and he's trying to get the ball and everything. And then he ends up—you can't see his head anymore. It disappears. And they're like, "Oh my God!" And he's like, "Oh my God, he's gonna die!" And stuff. And so they end up trying to get out, the, go in the water, and go save him. But then he comes—he comes back up and he's all. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm all right. And then he still goes, and then he ends up getting the water again. It disappears, and then this height has come back up. So it's like, oh crap, what's going on? And apparently, this boat randomly appears. This boat had to come at this time. Of, this time of the moment, it didn't make no sense. He couldn't come. The boat, the boat dogs the ball. Oh yeah, the ball is like, oh we don't hurt the ball. But this guy ended up running. The, the, the boat ended up running over the dude and kills him. He ripped his arm off and then like ripped his face up. Ripped him all to shreds. Just messed up. And so he dies in the water like that. And I did not expect that, honestly. This, this is what I'm about this anime. These deaths, you cannot expect what's going to happen. You cannot expect, like, I, I did not, I know, I don't know, because they got out of Yomiyama, so they, they assume that, well, we can't, there's not going to be people going to be dying or anything. So why is it happening? Why did it happen? It was crazy. And so, um, Misunagi's like, oh my god. I tried, to, I saved them all. I did the best I could and stuff. And it's just like, all this stuff's happening. Things are just getting crazy. We need to know what's going on. It's just like they, it's, uh, I hate when they do that. Where they're, where they're about to explain something, that something's gotta happen. Something always gotta happen to to interrupt them from completing what they're saying, because the, the, for the freaking world and nature don't want them to know. God, it's just yeah. So that guy ends up dying a very horrible death, and that's sad. And everyone's just shocked and surprised. I'm surprised myself. I was like, what the heck just happened? So I'm looking forward to the next episode because I'm curious what's going on. Because the next episode uh, credits like what we see in the next episode. It was like blood rain or something. It was crazy because she like, had like like blood, like a umbrella and had a blood all over it and stuff. And she had blood on her. So I was like, "All right, what's going on in the next episode? So what's these? Some more crap's gonna be happening. So yeah, we gotta see what's happening here. This is getting crazy. I'm I'm look, I'm literally looking forward to the next episode. So um, leave a comment below. Tell me what you think of the episode because I didn't expect him to die like that. If you know this guy's name, you can tell me because I mean I cause I don't remember. I mean it doesn't really matter now because he's you know he's dead man. So um. Yeah, leave a comment below and tell me what you think of this episode. Like if you like the review and subscribe to my channel for some more another reviews. This went another episode eight review. And until then, man, break out.